everyone, it's Amanda from I Sew A Lot and this is just a quick vlog to um, show you my uh, fabric haul and my December plans. Um, because of all the Black Friday deals, I've gone a bit crazy unfortunately, So, because uh, everyone had such great discounts on their patterns and fabric, it was crazy. So anyway, just going to jump right in. It all started when Fabric Godmother had a remnant sale. Um, so there were a couple of things I picked up. Um, first of all, I've got this really beautiful matchstick um, jersey. I, I don't know who it's by, but it is just amazing. I've had my eye on it for a while, but it was quite expensive. So when I saw that they had a remnant, I thought, yes. But unfortunately, it is only, cent uh, I think, 70 centimetres uh, long. So I'm thinking of making a t-shirt but having it running the wrong way. Um, if it's quite loose, I don't think it would really matter too much. Um, I'm thinking about the Colette, um, I think it's a seamwork magazine pattern actually, called the, I think it's Akita or something like that. I've had it for a while in my stash, so I've been thinking about that. Um, anyone got any other ideas of a t-shirt to make with a really small amount of jersey, I would really appreciate it. If you could put it in the comments below, that'd be great. And the other purchase that I got with the remnant sale was the same again. I'd had this my eye on this viscose um, for ages, and I think it's called Halo. And I think it is by someone called, I can't say it, but I think it's Atelier Brunette, I think. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I can't really think about what to make with it. I haven't really got any ideas, save for, I haven't made a um, Colette Sobeto for ages. I really like that pattern. It's really good for viscose. I think if you check it out on their website, it's actually a free download, so you don't even have to pay for it. And it's a really good simple top. But there is also um, a woven t-shirt pattern uh, by grain line, I can't remember what it's called, it's not the Lark Tea because that's for Jersey but it's the other one but I can't remember what it's called so uh, yeah I might have a go at that instead but yeah thinking about a woven t-shirt for that one um, and then my next purchase was also in a remnant sale and it was on the Sew Over It website and I felt really really sorry for Sew Over It because when they um, had their remnant sale it was on a Saturday morning and the website crashed and it was crazy and everyone was complaining on Instagram to say they couldn't get on there so I felt really really bad for them because I think they just didn't anticipate that everyone would be so keen so anyway I was one of the lucky ones to manage to get through and I'd been checking out their website for a little while to try and get some of their stretch cotton sateen um, in black and I don't know why but it hasn't been on their site for ages they might have some in now but I haven't checked but I was really lucky when I went um, to look at the remnants that they had a 90, I think it's a 90 centimetre piece. So it's just a plain black stretch cotton sateen. I wanted it originally to make a pencil skirt to make, oops, the Sew Over It Ultimate Pencil Skirt, which is this, I don't know if you can see. But um, yeah, I ha I've had it in my stash for a while, like I say, but I haven't actually made it. And I really like the fact that it's really high-waisted. And since I've made my red pussy bow blouse, I've discovered actually I need a black skirt to wear with it. So yeah, originally I planned to make that. However, um, Tilly and the Buttons had a 25% off sale on their patterns for the Black Friday week. So I purchased the Ariel skirt and I really like this mini version, mini's more my style obviously as you can see from my previous makes um, but I can't decide now which one to make so um, if you can leave a comment down below to let me know which one you think would be best for my shape and if anyone's made it and can recommend either of them over the other then that would be really helpful as well okay and because um, Tilly had her sale I also purchased the Aula blouse pattern and I'm not 100% on the collar on this one but I really like it plain without the collar and I also noticed that it's got um, an ex exposed zipper at the back um, and I really like that detail. I haven't sewn an exposed zipper before so because Tilly's um, instructions are always really easy to follow I thought that'd be a really good one to have a go at so yeah I haven't got any fabric in mind um, 
looks like it would be really nice in a viscose again maybe the halo viscose but um yeah I'm, I'm thinking about i might give that a try um also pattern wise so over it released the obviously ultimate pajamas on pdf i've just sewn the carolyn pajamas and they were a little bit more involved um, but now I've worn them so much, I am thinking that I'd like to make a few more pairs. So, But I like the fact that the Ultimate Pajamas pattern is really simple. It's only got, I think, a front, a back and a waistband. So it's really easy. No cuffs to worry about. No pockets to worry about. So really, really straightforward. Um, and I've been trying to find a project to um, entice my sister to have another sew along. Um, and this could be it. So in anticipation of her saying yes to another so long, although I think the pussy bow blouse might have scarred her a little bit because it was a bit involved when you don't really sew clothes. But anyway, I've found some really beautiful navy brushed cotton, no pattern matching to worry about. So really, really soft and lovely. And I got this from Fabworks, of course, and it was four pound a metre, crazy. So yeah, I've got enough for me and enough for her and some, I think. So hopefully I can convince her to do that. Okay, while I was on the Fabworks website, I also found this really, really lovely wool jersey and beautiful colour, love the red, very Christmassy and festive. Um, and it's got a really good amount of stretch. So I'm thinking about making a Simplicity 1252, the mini version. And um, I've made this before, I've made it a couple of times and it was quite a long time ago, a couple of years I think, um, and what I did, I think it's meant for wovens but, oh no it does say pont but it has a zip in the back and when I made the last two um, I didn't put a zip in the back because I used pont aroma and it's fine so I'm hoping that this has got the same amount of stretch and I should be able to get away without having a zip, I mean it doesn't matter if I do need to put a zip in then I do, I'm not bothered but if I can get away with it, then that would be really great. But that's really, really nice. Uh, I think this might have been £7 a metre. Again, it's ridiculous. Um, and while I was on there, they also had it in a black. So I purchased some of that because I thought if I don't make the um, ultimate pencil skirt, then I've got another option. And I'm thinking about a Colette Mabel for this. I've made a couple of those before. And they've got, I think, three versions. One version's got panels. So it's got a seam running down the front of your thigh and that's longer and it's got a kick pleat at the back. But they also do two mini versions, one which I think is panelled, uh, one I think it's got a button placket down the front and the other one is just plain. But that's a little bit shorter and I wanted it for work really. So I'll probably go again with the kick pleat version which I've had success with in the past. I think I've made two before. So yeah, thinking about that. As I said in my past video, I also have discovered that I don't really have enough black tops. So I purchased the Payola turtleneck, I don't know if you can see that, it's really bright, what about on this side, yeah, the Payola turtleneck, um, and yeah, I'm thinking about making that, a few people on Instagram have made it and it looks really fab, obviously Holly from Holly Sews made one and that was really nice, so yeah, I'm thinking about making that. Okay, um, what else have I got, I've got one more thing, I think one more thing to show you, which is... Of course, my fabric and pattern for the Little Red Dress project. And I've decided to go with the Sew Over It Vintage Shirt Dress Pattern. I'm going to go with the version with sleeves because of this time of year. I think it'd be great. And the fabric that I've chosen also. And, I, excuse the background noise, I've got kids shouting at each other in the back. Um, I've got a red crepe. And I think it's called the Premier Crepe, and it's from Fabric Godmother. It's really beautiful, really reasonable. I think they do a prestige crepe as well, which I think is a little bit better quality. Or I, I think it might be smooth, whereas this, I don't know if you can see, but it's got, no, I don't think you can. It's got a, a bit of texture to it, but it's not it's not sheer, so I think it'll be fine. And the, I mean, it's lovely. The drape of it is, it's just lovely. So, I know that the rules for the Little Red Dress project say it has to be a sheath or a shift dress, but I'm going to sway slightly from those rules, obviously, and make the um, shirt dress. The instructions are quite lengthy, but I've had a look through and I don't think there's anything that's going to be too difficult. The worst bit, I think, is going to be the collar 
and the uh, placket down the front and making sure that the darts on the because I think you have a, a pleat on the bodice and also on the skirt rather than darts pleats so I'm hopeful that they'll match up although I have seen that a few people have had to make alterations around the waist area so yeah I'm already envisaging that I might have to have some fit issues but hopefully not too bad so anyway that's it damn you Black Friday for making me spend a lot of money but uh, then again, thank you to all the lovely uh, providers for giving such fabulous discounts. So I think that's it. Hopefully uh, I'm going to be able to get my little red dress project finished in time because I think it's got to be done by the 21st. Um, and yeah, so be uploading a video of that in a couple of weeks. So thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more videos like this. Um, thank you. Bye.